Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I am uh, Mr. J.R.R. Hartley, Chief Clerk to the court, and I'd like to call on uh, the members of the bailiffs. And last but not least, Shawzy, who's now known as Bruce. Bruce, step on in. And last of all is the Honourable Lord Chief Justice Fester himself. If you'd like to take a bow, please. All rise, please. Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. Yeah, yeah. Here comes the judge. I left my brother outside, so I'd like to bring him back in. Ruprecht! Ruprecht, come in! Ruprecht! Open the door there for Randy, Ruprecht. Randy, can you go fetch him, please? Ruprecht! Ruprecht, come in! <laughs> Has, um, Ruprecht has no official function. He just wants to be here. He just wants to have a walk around. He hasn't done any, any major crimes or any small misdemeanors. He's just here. So I'd like you to ignore him. He might kind of sit in your lap or he likes to kind of play with people's eyes. But whatever he wants to do, you just leave him alone. Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Sorry, excuse me just a moment. Bruce. Bruce. Shawzy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, could we have loads of beers in glasses up here, please? Quickly. The charges are as follows. Extremely poor timekeeping throughout the tour. Very um, quickly, so Tony Dipro's Mike Cat and Ollie Redmond and Paul Wallace for arriving late on tour. And um, so Gregor Townsend and McGeeham for poor timekeeping throughout, not coming up to team meetings on time. Um, so Gregor Townsend's centre has been suspended pending further inquiries into uh, other uh, sentences which might be passed at a later time. Yes. Well, Your Honour, I'm often late myself, and I can say that Mr. McGeehan and Mr. Mr. Townsend are always later than I. Especially Mr. McGeehan, I think he is a set a particular example, and I think he's uh, he's been particularly wayward. And uh, I'll hand over to your witness defence, but I, I see no mitigation here at all. Um, as your as your crime, you shall on a trigger call. Whenever I call a call, and the call is good, girl. And when I say when I when I say good girl, you also have to neck another point. Except for you, Mr. Uh, McGeekin. Could everybody else please sit down, take some uh, cans with you? Always have a full can in your hand when I call good girl. You take one as well because you have more cans as well. Sit down. Shut up. Sit down. Sit down. I, only part of it. Sit down, Mr. Mr. McGeekin. Sit back up there, Mr. McGeekin. As a member of the. Um, as a member of the management, because the players have decided we want to look after each other for the test. You, however, will not be playing in the test. <laughs> I hope you like whiskey. Cheers. Uh, go on, drink drink up. There's a, good, there's a good lad. Next to rise, uh, Mr. Tim Rodber, please, if you take a stand. Your charge is as follows, Mr. Rodber. For the use of a cellular phone as the team ran out against the Blue Bulls at Loftus First Field, and he was even actually on the bench as well. How do you plead? Guilty. Your Honour? I think this is a particularly heinous crime uh, on account of the fact that we, we set out five weeks ago that we would be a team and we would be focused, even if you weren't playing, especially even the other guys weren't even talking on their mobile phones. <coughs> However, this is a particularly bad, low, shallow, horrible crime, uh, and for which you now have to give free use of your phone to everybody this evening. <laughs> On the call of 
the trigger call, which is? Good girl. Good girl. Uh, you will have to give it to whoever is standing beside you, and you have to. Now. Oh. Case dismissed. Oh, shit. Shark bite. <sighs>